Okay, so this is an explanation of uh, how the theaters work and uh, how you can calibrate it when uh, things don't work as they are supposed to work. Um, this is an uncalibrated feeder and uh, when, when used in a machine it will flick components out of their pockets from the tape uh, consistently. So uh, what's the problem with it? The problem is that this wheel here with the, uh, the pegs that, uh, that uh, feed into the, uh, the paper tape or plastic tape this wheel will actually move slightly backwards when the, the feeder is actuated via the um, uh, pneumatic actuator. And you can see this when I just try to activate it uh, manually. You can see this wheel, I don't know if it shows on the, uh, on the film, but this wheel moves ever so slightly backwards uh, when I move the, the tape forward a bit. And this is caused by this lever here which is uh, meant to be stopping uh, this wheel. Um, it's not adjusted correctly. And um, I'll try to show you briefly how, how to do this. Now to do this you have to remove this entire assembly here. Uh, and this is done by uh, opening this screw here, this one here, and this is a 1.5 millimeter uh, hex uh, drive. So I open this, and when that is done, you can take this this screw out completely like that. And then this entire assembly can be taken out. Uh, this uh, spring here also needs to come out since we're going to access screws which is under this. So I'll just take this out. that and it's uh, fixed in here and it uh, sits on this uh, screw as well here so we need to pry it out like that. So now we can get to this set screw which is down here. This set screw uh, is um, a screw which uh, stops this uh, screw from, uh, from turning. So we need to open that that. And you can now actually move this screw around. And I don't know if it, this shows very well on the video, but when I turn this screw you can see that this uh, this moves slightly up and down. This is a, a eccentric uh, eccenter uh, screw. So what you need to do is you need to make sure that this lever here catches the back side of the cog on that wheel. Like that. And then you need to fasten that screw, set screw. And now you can see that when I advance this wheel doesn't move backwards anymore. And this is very, very important. And uh, it's, it's even so important that uh, even if it doesn't look like it's moving backwards, it could actually be moving backwards very, very slightly. And this is super important for plastic tapes, which are very fiddly. So what you can do is you can actually, uh, you can actually test it in the machine with a short piece of tape and, and put some components in it, and the components should not be jumping out of the tape. Um, this lever and this lever down here, which advances the uh, uh, the cogwheel, can also be used to uh, position 
the pocket on the feeder. So you can you can make this move a bit up. You can make the the cogwheel move a bit up, and you can adjust this to the, to that position later on, and you can adjust the pocket side, the pocket position as well. Uh, we've tried on on our feeders. We've tried to do this so that all pockets coincide coincide exactly, so we can use feeders on every position in the pick and place machine. So my belief is that this is the problem that you have and uh, if you fix this your feeders should work properly. Sorry about the lousy video, I hope it helps, thanks.